machines, blood test machines I wanted to show you is the Contour Link. Now, I'm on a Medtronic pump and as it happens, this talks to the pump. So it takes out an action. You don't have to write it in a diary. It squeezes across through the joys of infrared. Strip into the Contour Link. Finger prick. Counts down, normal five seconds. Pump. That pings in there, and it's maybe not that easy to see, but that tells that what's going on. The joy of that is that you can actually just press act, bolus, use bolus wizard, it repeats what that reading was for 7.4. You can ask, you then say you're not taking any carbs, because I'm not going to, and it tells you don't take any insulin. Which is fair enough. That's just me escaping out of that. It's telling me that I'm escaping out of it. Um, the, the, the other benefit of this setup, not everyone is on a pump and not everyone currently has access to a pump, but should you go down the pump route, the contour link talks to the pump and then the pump, you can download all the information from the pump through the care link, which is part of the Medtronic setup. And that brings both your blood test readings and your insulin delivery as given by the pump all onto the same graphs, which is really interesting. It's a bit frightening when you first see it because there's just so much information and, well, if you're anything like me, it looks like a, a war zone. It's like results left, right and centre, up, down, all over the place. But it is actually normal. That's pretty normal. Um, I think people don't know to expect that, but it is pretty much the way it is. Um, and the point of all that information is to just assess trends. It's particularly important for getting your basal rates right on the pump. And also things like the bolus wizard only works if you know how many, um, how many units your blood sugar will come down if you put in a unit of insulin. So it's your sort of carb to insulin ratio or, or just your blood sugar level to insulin ratio. So at certain times of the day, one unit, one unit of insulin will bring me down, say, four units. So if that blood test had been 16.4, it might suggest that I have one or two or 1.5 units of insulin, and that should bring me back into the zone. Um, it's all very clever um, and very useful. And the more it's all singing and dancing with each other, the better. And it's all going to head that way, I think, with the idea of the artificial pancreas at the end of the day, you'll still have to keep your head on and manage it yourself. And the more you know about carbohydrates, the better and how they work in your body. But getting it all kind of automated and not having to fiddle about with anything too much is all very helpful.